Hello and welcome to our lesson on finding the area of a non-right angled triangle using the formula the area is equal to a half AB times C. Now it's important that we understand that the angle is represented by a capital A and the opposite side has a lowercase. So for capital B, the opposite side is lower B and for capital C, the length of the opposite side is lower C. We can use this formula, the area is equal to one half of AB sine C. And we know in this triangle, beside opposite the angle A, we call lowercase a. Beside opposite the angle C, we call lowercase c. And beside opposite the angle B, we call lowercase b. So we can substitute these values into our formula. So the area is equal to one half of a, which is seven, multiplied by b, which is five, multiplied by the sine of angle c, which is the sine of 40 degrees. So the area will equal one half times seven times five, which is 17.5 times the sine of angle C, which is the sine of 40, not 0.643. So the area of the triangle is approximately 11.25 centimeters squared. Okay, let's try question B. Okay, for question B, the problem with question B is that the lengths are not A, B, and C. So what we can do what is perfectly fine is to change these lengths to match the formula. So we have angle C, angle B, and angle A. So beside opposite angle B is lowercase b, beside opposite angle A is lowercase a, and beside opposite angle C is lowercase c. So now we have the area is equal to one half of AB sine c. So the area, and we can substitute these values in, is one half of a, which is 4, times b, which is 3 root 2, multiplied by the sine of angle c, which is the sine of 45. We can work out one half of 4, which is 2. So the area is equal to 2, multiplied by 3 root 2, multiplied by the sine of 45 and two lots of 3 root 2 is 6 root 2 multiplied by the sine of 45. So this is much easier to put into our calculators and that comes out as a total area of 6 centimeters squared. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.